Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video and a huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. It is a pleasure to see you and hang out with you in the chat. In the last episode of the Legend of Dragoon, we defeated the Grand Jewel, which gave us the, the Dragon Block Staff or the Dragon Blocker as it is known in our goods. Also, uh, I want to talk about what what I did off off screen real quick uh and listen this is this I don't I don't know how I got this lucky okay but I did uh so let me go into my list real quick of goods here and let me show you the results of my grinding if you remember at the end of the last episode I said I was going to uh go try to farm out some dancers rings well guess what I got three of them back to back to back I'm not even joking uh, it took me a bunch of hours to actually get the first one, and then the next battle literally gave me the another, another one, and then the following battle gave me the third one. I'm not even joking, and those, the last one was just on my way out of Kadesa. Like, it, anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I'm, I'm still so happy about it, uh, so I wanted to point that out. And also, uh, additions at the moment, Dart has Moonstrike, his final addition and Miru is uh, about to switch to Cool Boogie. She just maxed out her Hammer Spin. And Kongle is learning Bone Crush. So I just wanted to point that out before we get into what we're doing in this episode. Which, my friends, is going into the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. And hopefully taking down the King of Dragons, the Divine Dragon. Oh, man. Look at this. As soon as you get in here, there's just a bunch of dead dragons on the ground. At least I assume those are... Like little, little baby dragons. I don't really know. Look at this place. Oh, man. The mountain of mortal dragon or dragon tomb or, you know, whatever. Look at these, all these bones and stuff. Anyways, we can get a chest right here. Come on, game. I also wanted to point out while I was, while I was removing some things. Ew, an attack ball. Come on. Uh, as I was removing some things, I also wanted to mention that I did stock up on spark nets, if you remember. Uh, from our Deningrad journey. So I just wanted I just wanted to point that out. Last time we were in the Crystal Palace, I did go ahead and do that. Uh, and I I just I, I need you I need you to know that that's what I did. We're gonna head this way. We will get into a random encounter, which is good. Uh, because now I can actually go over some of the enemies that we will find here on the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Depending, of course, on what we end up finding in our first encounter here, which is going to be Ooh, we get the deadly spider. And the Beastie Dragon, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, the Deadly Spider is Earth Elemental. The Beastie Dragon is Wind Elemental. They both have about 300 health, so no problemo. And nothing here really drops anything that is really worth writing home about. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, I actually forgot to switch to her cool buggy, but that's okay. So yeah, like I was saying, nothing nothing that you can actually encounter here in more. Uh, the Mountain of Mortal Dragons is going to be a huge deal. You'll be able to kind of... Well, unless you mess up your Moonstrike. Uh, you'll be able to get through these enemies, no problem. Oh, unless, of course, you can't do any of your additions. Uh, I do still have Kongo in the party because of the same reasons that we've had him in the party. Which is uh, that I need to work on his additions and he needs to get SP and all that jazz, right? Uh, basically, the sooner he hits Dragoon level 5 and maxes out his additions, uh, the sooner I don't use Kongle anymore. Which, I guess, kind of makes me sad, because I do like Kongle. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm willing, I'm willing to say, I'm willing to say goodbye. Alright, so we want to take this path. Which will lead us over to this chest here, which is only a mind purifier. Which, I guess you don't really need that, but it is a chest. We need to open it. I am me. Hello. Welcome to the video. Uh, so we have to get all of the items that we possibly can. Uh, and then we want to head this way over here. Which is a really cool looking... Like, I don't know. There's something super ominous about this particular map. Uh, I don't... I don't know. And there we go. We got two new enemies here. These are the Mega Sea Dragons. We did fight Sea Dragons before, and that was all the way... Uh, in the, the the marshland area. These guys do have an 8% chance of dropping a... Uh, oops. They have an 8% chance of dropping a Gushing Magma, and they are Fire Elemental, which is something that we actually 
I feel like we haven't fought a fire elemental enemy in quite some time, but uh, there you go. There's one just sitting in front of us. Of course, they only have about 175 health, so they are quite easy. Oh, geez, I messed that up. Look at her cool boogie timing. It's crazy, that addition. I haven't been able to practice any of the additions off screen just because uh, I'm actually... We're at a point right now where we're trying to get a bunch of games done before a bunch of other games come out on stream, and it's been eating up a ton of my time, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Nothing, like I said, none of the random encounters here are going to, uh, are going to hold you back at all. I just, I love this map. It's like, I guess it's because it starts off dark and there's just like this huge ominous light at the end. Probably lava or something. I like it. I think it's cool looking. All right, so now we actually want to head all the way down here because there is a piece of equipment we can get for Mr. Kongle. You might have saw it on one of the previous maps. That Don't worry. I know it looks like we're going in reverse, but we're not. I promise. Oh my god. Look at this. We get some little baby dragons. These guys have 240 health each, and they are uh, El Thunder Elemental. Uh, so not too bad here. They are so cute. They do have an 8% chance of dropping mine purifiers, but again... Uh, I'm not really too concerned about getting those. They do have pretty high physical defense, but are very weak to magic. So, I guess if you wanted to do it that way, you could. Or, you know, Kongle can just one-shot them. That was pretty easy, just the three of them. You kind of just meleeed. They don't really do much. Actually, I would recommend maybe using the... Well, I guess they could use status afflictions, so we don't really want to do that. Uh, but... I was going to say you could kind of use them as a way to guard against them and, and get your health back instead of using healing items and stuff, which is something that I like to do if there's a weaker enemy in that area. All right, so we are going to put uh, that Kongle. Uh, we just got Giganto armor, which, of course, that means that only only Mr. Kongle here can actually equip that. But look at what it does for his magic defense. It takes him from 48 to 60 and brings his defense to 223. And when he's physically attacked, SP is accumulated. So yes, that is a very, very, very powerful piece of equipment for Mr. Kongle at this point in the game. Uh, definitely worth going down and, and, and kind of, not backtracking, but going down and getting that piece. Trust. It's useful, especially if you're actually using Kongle. Anything to increase his magic defense is what we need. We can also head into this tunnel right here. Again, it all kind of, these tunnels look similar, right? Uh, so you kind of have to make sure you're going the right way. Which we can keep going. There's only one enemy left in the uh, Mountain of Mortal Dragon that we haven't encountered yet. I just wanted to point that out. Right here, we can grab a Healing Breeze. Very nice for us. Which I'm actually just going to go ahead and use that right away. Because uh, my guys were looking a little worn down. Especially poor little Miru, man. She was looking a little low on health. Of course, she does have a small health pool, so it makes sense. Then we just want to head back this way. So we just go through those tunnels and we can head up here, which will lead us the way that we need to go. And we can run down here. Oh, geez, Louise. Ah, and there we go. The final random encounter that we can find here in the Mountain of Mortal Dragons. This, my friend, is a wyvern. Uh, it is a wind elemental. It has 594 health, more than anything. It will typically only appear by itself. Uh, it can, uh, well, we, we, we can see what it can do here. Uh, and it does have an 8% chance of dropping a downburst, but I don't really think that's something that you're going to want at this point in the game. It also has pretty high physical defense and magic defense. Uh, so we'll need to hopefully be able to kill it nice and slowly because I suck at additions right now. As I almost nail his bone crush. Eight hundred and ten damage with an all-out attack to dart. That is absolutely monstrous. Almost got Moonstrike. Jeez, Louise, we're getting better, team. We're getting better. And of course, it does end up dropping a downburst, which I don't really need, but that's okay. We'll take it. And there you go. It. There's all of the random encounters that you can get here in this area. And we can also grab a chest right here, which contains a dragon helm.
Now, the Dragon Helm is a very interesting item because we can actually equip it. Remember how I was literally just saying that Miru has no health? Well, right now she has the Jewel Crown equipped. We could equip her with a Legend Cast. Of course we could. Uh, or we could equip her with the Dragon Helm that we literally just got, which raises maximum HP by 50%. It only lowers her magic defense by four, which isn't bad at all. Uh, so we could definitely go ahead and, and put that on. And in fact, I, I think we will. That's going to make her... That's going to give her uh, 1648 for health now instead of what she had before. So uh, that means her guards are going to be healing more. That means a lot of a lot of good things, right? You give her a therapy ring? Uh-oh. What is happening? It is from top of the Mountain of Mortal Dragons. That was a magic power. An awfully powerful mega magic. Whatever it is, that is our destination. Yeah, I'd say. As if. It is unburdening his anger all over the world. The anger towards the winglies who sealed him, and us humans who dominated dragons. Then... Does this mean that Diningrad was chosen to be the place for the declaration of war? We will settle that on the top of the Mountain of Mortal Dragon, before the next town becomes a victim. Heck yeah, team. Heck yeah! Crazy. The Divine Dragon seems very upset. Maybe it's currently in battle. Hmm. We have a save point here. We also have a chest right... Come on, game! Get rid of that attack ball from earlier. We don't need that. There we go. We got a total vanishing. We also don't really need that either. We can also use this chance to save. Here's the deal, team. Uh, you do really, really want to save here because the battle that we are about to do uh, has a chance of giving us a armor that you can... It's a pretty rare chance of dropping. It's one of those boss fights, you know, where you might have to do it a couple times. Uh, so we, we're going to see, we're going to see how this goes. Hmm. What is this right here? So right here, there is a very hidden chest, but it contains a very decent repeatable item, Speed Down, which works exactly how you think it does. What is happening? The sound of swords. No. Has somebody already started the fight against it? Let's go. Either way, we will have to join in. Yeah, those guys are going to lose. And right there, we can get a, mo a body purifier, which, of course, we don't really need. And we are about to jump into the fight, which means goodbye, Kongle. Hello, Miranda. Uh, hello, my darling. Hello. Okay, I won't do that again. Uh, we also could go ahead and equip uh, Miranda with the... She has the magical ring right now, but we could equip her with the um, the ring here. But we're not going to do that. I'm actually going to the dancer's ring. I'm going to go ahead and actually equip uh, Miru with the soft boots and a dancer's ring. And I'm going to give Miranda the dancer's shoes. And I'm going to have her keep the magical ring. So this way, uh, we keep that strong, strong magic attack. Because my my hope is that we can get through this fight pretty, pretty quickly. So uh, we'll see exactly how this goes. And I'm also just going to go ahead and use a healing rain on everybody. Uh, just so that they are nice and healthy for this fight. And let's see. Can we get in here with a random encounter? You can go back now. There is nobody who would think that way. Um, may I excuse myself a bit? You are the representative of the Winglies. Come on. <laughs> are you going back to your forest to hide? I, I was I was just kidding. When I do it, I can do it. I made up my mind. Anyway, if the people of Surdio knew about this, they would all fall over. <laughs> Let's do it. Where's Kongle? Wait. What? Lloyd! It is earlier than I expected. <sighs> well, it is the future king of dragons. Even with the dragon buster, which can kill dragons, he still gave me a hard time. But he is almost dead. There is no need for you to come in. You say you are fighting against the divine dragon? 
You... You broke the seal of the strongest dragon of all, but you couldn't control it. It's the truth, isn't it? Hmm. What are you yapping about? We can kill this man anytime. We have to defeat the divine dragon first. The sacred sister of Milosezu. I see the replacement for that girl. How convenient for us. Shut up! What does that even mean? Ugh. Where did Lloyd go? Hello? Yeah! Charge, baby! This, my friends, is the battle against the Divine Dragon. Hell yeah! Now, he has a very low chance of dropping the Dragon Shields, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get it in one of these fights, at least... At least that's my hope. Maybe we'll get really lucky and we'll get it right away. So upon entering battle with the Divine Dragon, we are going to use the Dragon Blocker. The Dragon Block Staff. Which means not only is the Divine Dragon now weakened, but also our Dragoons are now useless. Except, of course, if you are to transform and use healing magic or anything like that. Especially if you are or Albert's Rose Storm. Especially if you only have one level, Dragoon level, and you can use it and instantly leave. Uh, that's very, very good. Attack and defense power of Divine Dragon and Dragoons reduced. All right, you know the drill, team. We're going to get smacked around by the Divine Dragon. It's got a bunch of different attacks. The Dragon Ball, I believe, is the thing that tends to use magic attacks like it's using right now. Unfortunately, this is going to do pretty considerable damage to our dear Miru here. Five hundred and fifty-two damage to Miru, but. Miru will be okay. I have faith in her. All right, so right off the bat, we are going to use a power-up on Miranda. And, of course, hopefully, Miru's got the next turn so she can use a speed-up on Miranda as well. Uh, perfect. Awesome. So we're going to use a speed-up on Miranda. And Miranda is going to go ahead and spam this baby with Spark Nets. Spark Nets uh, will actually be pretty pretty good in this oh nope not translate uh will actually be pretty useful in this fight now you'll notice that there's actually a divine cannon divine ball and divine dragon we want to focus just the divine dragon screw everything else because i think we'll be able to kill it fast enough especially with a 230 percent spark net for 2,838 damage, which is crazy because the Divine Dragon, my friends, only has 5,000 health, which means, well, we just won. Which means we just, de what even is this game? Wow, unbelievable. Wait, wait a minute. What? That, that is, yes, this is the Dragoon Spirit. What? Oh, but we didn't get, we didn't get the Dragon Shield, so we'll have to reset. And there we go. Finally, it only took me, uh, like, nine 
12, I don't even know how many resets, but I finally got the Dragon Shield. Uh, so the Dragon Shield isn't a huge deal to get from the Divine Dragon. You can buy these for 5,000 gold in Lohan, so it's not like a missable item or anything like that. Uh, there's no limited quantity. It's just, you know, 5,000 gold in this game is quite a bit. So anyways, we get the 300 gold and 10,000 experience and the Dragon Shield. Everybody in our party will level up. Of course, we have Dart at level 30, Miranda and Miru both at level 28. And nobody in our reserves actually got a level from that. It's also, well, I'll get into it in a second. That fight was so fast that I just didn't have time to explain anything. This is the soul of the Divine Dragon. The flame of a soul that sparkles only at the last moment of a dragon's life. Its crystal is the dragoon spirit. As I expected, it doesn't sparkle in my hands. Lloyd, that was your purpose, wasn't it? This is just a little prize for me. A prize? I don't need additional power to destroy the world. The Divine Dragon was a mere obstacle to my ideal. I fought against it for that reason only. You're the one who formed the conspiracy to destroy the world. The King of Serdio. What brought you all the way here? Is it the frustration of having your moon taken? Or your feelings towards your loyal friend Lavitz? Don't even mention that name. Ah, oh, what is that? Why is it... It's too early yet to settle things. Wait! Don't be so hasty. I'll see you soon. What? Where is he going? He is leaving the mountain. Chase him! We gotta go! Look at how beautiful that scene is, though, with the Divine Dragon pre-rendered, obviously, and destroyed in the background. So I do want to talk a little bit about that fight because obviously uh, we 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 did it really really quickly. Uh, so it has a bunch of different moves. Uh, it will do a dragon claw thing where it will. We can actually come over here and uh, divine dragon and and actually like like look at it and examine it. Isn't that amazing? So anyways, it has the uh, a physical attack that it will do. It will swipe at all three party members. That's called the the, the dragon claw. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, and then it has the divine dragon cannon which it, a countdown will appear and then it will shoot uh, this huge energy blast. It does a ton of damage. It's very, very rarely used. However, uh, if you can kill the cannon, it just won't use that attack. Um, it needs that. It hits two party members. However, if it targets Dart because he's in the center, it'll hit all three. There's also the Divine Dragon Ball, which is this attack. It'll get, it'll start flying in the air. And it'll send out all of these little... Uh, it's kind of how it destroyed... Deningrad, right? It's like all these little uh, projectiles that shoot out. If you destroy the Dragon Ball, uh, <laughs> the Dragon Ball, if you destroy that, uh, then it won't use that attack anymore. And then it also has uh, another attack called Pressure, where it will like whip its head around and it'll cause fear and lower defense and all that stuff. Um, so you don't, you don't really want that to happen. Uh, lucky for us, though, we two shot it with Sparknet. Yeah, that's a little crazy. And we have seen dragon shields in the past, so I don't really need to show those off. But anyways, we need to leave the Mountain of Mortal Dragons. Now, it is pretty crazy to me that literally no one in the party, except for except for our main party, actually got a level up in that battle. I'm guessing that means that they're probably close to it. Now, you can also save on your way out. I would recommend it, especially if you're low health. I would also recommend taking this time to make sure you get all of the items that you can get here in the in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon because there is, after this, no reason to come back here. Uh, even though the carcass of the Divine Dragon sits there, it doesn't give us anything. At least it's a pretty easy way out, even if it is a pretty high encounter rate. Of course, if you did have charm potions or anything like that, that kind of simplifies that whole process just a little bit more. But we do need to leave the Mountain of Mortal Dragon, so we'll just go the way we came. Oh, what? Lloyd! Oh no, whoa! Ugh. I didn't know he was one of the Winglies. How did you not know that, Dart? 
Bros. Bros, come on. Uh, uh. Can you tell me who I am? I thought you were dead. What? Oh, don't worry. I am carrying out your will. We took this world back together. I won't let them ruin it. Farage. Embryo. The moon with black power. Black power? Are you talking about the black monster? Neat. 18 years ago. Stay here. Dart's dad and mom. Take care of Dart. No! Your father is a strong person. <laughs> you have that strength in you. So... You can wait here by yourself, okay? Where are you going? I'm going back to the village to fight. Really? I will protect your hometown with your father. Live strong. No! What was that? Poor dart man. Mom? Dad? Oh, what? This is my dad's important shiny stone. Mom. Dad. So Dart's father was indeed a dragoon. But did it shine for him? Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. Fester said, What really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all and the moon child who blesses the world? Rose, what do you know about this? Start! Rose! Finally, I found you guys. Oh boy, Rose, she passed out. Move away, I'll carry Rose first. So, Lloyd is a wingling. You know, I kind of like forgot that that hasn't been revealed to us yet. To be completely honest with you, like, I thought at this point, it's pretty clear he's a wingling, right? Like, is that a surprise? Are you surprised, dear viewer? Darn, I'm beaten. It's my fault letting him go. I apologize for it. It's not your- what do you mean? It's not your fault, Rose. Nobody knew he was a wingly who can use magic. Don't worry. We will find out where he went. I agree. Lloyd's objectives are still the Divine Moon objects. Miranda, there's no need for you to hide it. Tell us about the Divine Moon object in Milisezu. 
It's not like you, Miranda. Don't hesitate. I guess there is no choice but to tell everything. The Divine Moon objects are said to be brought by Winglies. And it is said that they have a dreadful magic power concealed within. That is the reason why they were never allowed to be taken outside. A national treasure that has been kept a close secret. It is called the Moon Mirror. The successive thrones have been the keys to opening the seal. Oh. Wait, it cannot be. Queen Teresa's in danger. Yeah, I'd say. Duh, Miranda. Why would you not have thought about that? We gotta go! And we're almost out of the... Wow, that was really quick. Yeah, it's so weird. I'd never even, like, considered the fact that we haven't seen anything from Lloyd that he's actually a Wingly until right now. I am genuinely curious, though, for those of you that are new to this game, maybe never played it, never seen it, anything like that, are... are is that like a big reveal for you? Are you are you shocked that he's a wingly or did you kind of assume based off of the hair and his abilities and everything else? I feel like I feel like it's 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 a pretty you know, you know. Anyways, now we need to head through the evergreen forest and see what's going on in Deningrad. But upon entering Evergreen Forest, we get a little bit of a scene here. I wonder where Sister Miranda and the other people are, and if they're safe. To make sure that we, the Sacred Knighthood, are going to act as reinforcements. Don't worry, there's no way our Sister Miranda can lose. Yes, indeed. We cannot imagine her losing. But I cannot imagine that the giant dragon will lose, either. Please, don't say such an ill omen thing. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry, ma'am. Sister Miranda, Dart and company are legendary dragoons. We might not be needed. Dragoons? They are mere humans anyway. Oh, no! Who is it? Humans don't need to know my name. Oh, no. Are you a wingling? Yes, I am. We were the rulers of you humans in ancient Endeness. And now I am your executioner! Oh no! Oh my god. This is what you asked for. This is the great battle of liberation, and your scream is its overture. You conceited humans, go to hell! The conceited one is you. Oh, you are Mr. Lloyd. You are so easily overtaken. You block the magic power. Who are you? I don't need to answer you. Watch your mouth. Mr. Lloyd. I won't let anybody hinder the liberation of Wingleys. I'll annihilate all humans. Liberation of Wingleys? <laughs> You're so old fashioned. A world without humans. It won't be any different from the forest you're cooped up in. I have made many sacrifices for my ideals. But your ideals cannot be achieved unless you annihilate everything. Of course! My grudge, my hatred, I will settle them all with human lives! You should not be alive. I... I won't die alone! He exploded. Mr. Lloyd. Ugh. <sighs> I went out of my way. Oh, you're wounded. Please let us treat you at the castle. No, that's bad. No, 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 wink. No, no, no. And Dart and company are gonna need to head through the evergreen forest as quickly as possible. Wait, Sister Miranda. Oh, Commander of Knights, we were successful defeating the Divine Dragon and... Wait, what happened to you? You're injured. Queen Teresa, uh... Queen Teresa was abducted. W what? What did you say? By who? A, a man called Lloyd. We're too late. What were you doing? Do you know where he took her? 
Well, hmm. Sister Wink might know something. My sisters are safe, aren't they? Everyone is waiting for the group to come back to the Crystal Palace. We gotta go. This is not good. I told you. What did I tell you? Wink, you fool. Anyways, go. We need to go. Crystal Palace right away. Go, go, go. Don't even worry about anybody else. Just go to the, go to the throne room. That's where we need to go. Get out of my way. <laughs> we need to go. Of course, if you forgot, Sister Wing trusts Lloyd so much and remembers Lloyd from, from him saving her into now from a bunch of bandits. And now he just saved him from the younger, younger Bardell brother. Which we saw in the episode before we went to Cadessa. So she, she just assumed everything was okay, but it's not. What do you mean that Queen Teresa was taken away? What happened? Let me tell you. A few days ago, when the howling of the dragon from the Mountain of Mortal Dragon stopped, we assumed he had been successfully vanquished. Everyone, everyone was happy about it. Yeah, that, that, that part makes sense. Seems irrelevant to the story, but... How long has it been since we have stopped hearing the howling of the Divine Dragon? It has been about one week now. Don't worry. Sister Luana said the feeling of the Divine Dragon is gone. Oh, friends. Hi, Wink. I'm back. I have good news for you, Queen Teresa. As Sister Luana said, it seems they defeated the Divine Dragon. I am glad. Now we can focus on the recovery of the country. I appreciate it, Wink. Please give the knights their well-earned rest. About the knights. My knighthood is currently being treated. A wingly who had something against humans suddenly raided us. Winglies attacked you. According to Miranda, they are a friendly species. Some of the winglies are militant. Uh... This gentleman repelled them so that we were able to come back to the castle safe and sound. Let me introduce him. His name is Mr. Lloyd, Your Majesty. It is a pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. Not only that, it was Mr. Lloyd who gave us the good news of the successful vanquishing of the Divine Dragon. How, how did you find out about it? It was a coincidence. I saw Sister Miranda and her companions who completed the vanquishing in the Mountain Dragon Tomb. I understand. Let me express my gratitude to you. Actually, it was not the first time I was saved by Mr. Lloyd. Oh, yeah, I remember. This gentleman is the man of the fates uh, Sister Wink was talking about, isn't he? Hey. Queen Teresa, she was saved from the bandits in Danau by this gentleman, too. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? Helping Wink coming here? Sister Luana, what are you talking about? The murderous intention you conceal inside. You cannot disguise it in front of me. Wink. Seti, stay back. I felt it too. Something very wrong. <laughs> I hadn't intended to make a scene. However, sometimes it can't be avoided. What? Queen Teresa! Mr. Lloyd, what, what on earth? Do not come closer. What do you want? I desire the moon mirror. Moon mirror? H how did you know about it? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. You should just take me there, your majesty. Answer me from the beginning. From the beginning, it was your purpose. Wink, get away. I... Just desire the power to create a utopia. Queen Teresa, he is reading your mind. 
Shall we go to the last divine moon object? Oh, wow. They are just out. Lloyd has got to be like one of the most powerful winglies then. If he can just teleport all over the place. The last divine moon object. Is he going to end this? Miranda, where is the moon mirror? In the Tower of Flanville, to the west of Kashua Gra Glacier. Teresa is the key to the tower. I'll take care of the rest. Sister Miranda, we'll bring Queen Teresa back. We're not going to let Lloyd get what he wants. Goodbye, friendos. Goodbye! So, the next place we have to go, then, is Kashua Glacier. Well, through Kashua Glacier, to go to the Tower of Flanville. Flanvel. Mr. Lloyd would... I can't... I can't believe it. Mr. Lloyd. Queen Teresa! Queen Teresa! Queen Teresa! I wonder what the man called Lloyd is conspiring to do after he obtains the moon mirror. Oh, he wants to... He wants to create a utopia or, you know, destroy everybody that ever existed. It's fine. No big deal. We can deal with that. So, we want to head out. None of the knights were able to even touch the bandit. Yeah, I, I heard. It was a pathetic failure, and I was right in front of Queen Teresa. Jeez Louise. It's not your fault, guys. It's not your fault. You did the best you could. The bandit easily defeated all the knights attacking him. He was terribly skillful. I had confidence in my swords, but I was helpless in front of the man. What power he has. Hmm. Well, that's going to be it, my friends, for this episode of The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missledyne Online. I hope you guys enjoyed it as we defeated the Divine Dragon in mere... In, what was it? Two? Two mere hits? We absolutely disposed of the fool. You can also go into the inn where you can save, and Shauna is still here. We can, we can check and make sure she's okay. She's in deep sleep, so... This guy, this guy, you know, he, he was protecting her, so Lloyd wasn't able to do anything, which is great. Uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and, uh, and uh, maybe I showed you a little trick on how to defeat the Divine Dragon super easily. In the next episode, we will head through Kashua Glacier and, Gla Glacier, and hopefully head to the Tower of Flanvel in the west. Thank you, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the King of Dragons, the Divine Dragon.